Hi, this is Bobby from Visual Impact, and today we're taking a quick look on how to build a basic Studio Kit configuration for the Alexa Mini. There are plenty of ways to configure the Alexa Mini for Studio or a more drama oriented locked off setup, depending on your style, the needs of the production, and budget. For a base, we'll start off with the basic cage kit featuring two MAP2s, each mounted on top and bottom of the camera. As you can see here, the viewfinder cable has to be tucked in between the camera body and the MSB1 side bracket before you finalize the cage build, otherwise, you won't be able to slide it in afterwards. The ARRI BPA4 plate is a crucial piece that we'll need in order to be able to mount the Alexa Mini into the Dovetail tripod setup. The BPA4 is a small plate which mounts between the MAP2 and the ARRI BP8 bridge plate. As you can see, the BP8 screws are positioned in a way that they are lined up with the threaded holes on the bottom of the BPA4 in order to maintain the symmetrical design. Using the BP-8 bridge plate, we then proceed to slide the Alexa Mini onto the dovetail mounted on the tripod. Then, we will need to start mounting the viewfinder. We start by inserting the first part of the MVB-1 viewfinder bracket onto the top of the MAP-2. After removing the stopper at the end, we can slide the second part of the viewfinder bracket, which can be set up to accommodate the viewfinder to be mounted on the either the left or the right side. The Alexa Mini viewfinder then slots in easily into the provided groove on the MVB1 bracket with corresponding stopper at the bottom preventing the viewfinder from sliding out accidentally. At this stage, it's also a good idea to put the plug for the viewfinder cable into the viewfinder port at the back of the Alexa Mini by aligning the red indicator on the camera side with the red dot on the yellow end of the viewfinder cable. The wooden camera Alexa Mini distribution box slots into the 15mm bars and the tightening knob on the side makes it easy to secure it into the bars. We then insert the larger 8-pin Limo power cable into the power input of the camera, again by aligning the red dots. We then do the same with the 7-pin Limo cable, which we have to insert into the EXT port of the camera. For this demo, we're using the V-mount version of the Alexa Mini D-Box by Wooden Camera and an IDX Duo C190 V-mount battery. Moving on to the lower part of the setup, we will need a couple of 19mm bars that are inserted into the BP-8 bridge plate. Carefully remove the lens cap from the lens mount on the camera and cover the exposed sensor with the palm of your hand. The next step involves aligning the lens with the PL lens mount. It will only go in one way into the PL mount, and you'll also need to support the lens with one hand. Because of its size, you can expect a bit of a wiggle before locking the lens mount lever, but once you do so, the lens should be locked securely. Using a lens support on this type of large cine zoom lens is imperative, and we'd never advise you to use a lens without it. Before we insert the lens support, we have to insert the 19mm Preston swing arm. We have three of these which serve as a base for the lens motors. After the swing arms and lens support are inserted onto the 19mm bars, it's time to mount the matte box to the front of the lens. For this demo, we're using the ARRI MB18, but of course you can opt for any matte box of your choice, as long as it fits your filter needs and the front of the lens. Mounting the Preston lens motors on the top part of the swing arms is quite easy as the swing arm has a 15mm opening at the top to accommodate the motor. Align the motor gear with the iris ring and then tighten both the bottom 19mm end and the top motor end to ensure that there is no play. Moving over to the operator's side, we do the same with the third motor. At this stage, we'll have to connect each of the motors with the Preston brain or control unit, which drives the motors. This is done via a small Limo cable, which we align with the red dot on the motor input carefully so we don't bend any pins. For a more drama-oriented setup, depending on the preference of the operator, we can add a second pan bar, so to make panning a bit easier and to avoid the operator having to use the 19mm rod support as leverage. There's no one correct way to build a studio-oriented setup for the Alexa Mini, and this is just one of the setups one of our frequent rental customers use when hiring the camera and working on dramas or in the studio. This completes the quick demo and we hope you found it useful. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this in the near future.
As an ARRI authorised camera dealer, we'd be more than happy to assist you with all your ARRI production needs, whether for hire or purchase. Do get in touch on 0208 977 2 or visit us on the website at www.visuals.co.uk.